Hey everybody, Mark Spector the Comics and I'm back. This time I was tagged by my buddy Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics to do my $20 challenge. If you're interested in seeing some of the books I got, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I ended up going to a flea market this past weekend. Um, went with my buddy Ray, uh, Ray Man the Silencer Man. Ended up doing some uh, some hunting there at the flea market. And um, I was tagged by my buddy Steve. He went to a Comic Con recently and they um, they had a little challenge with his friends to you know go spend $20. $20. I think they gave him an hour to do it. Um, me and my buddy Ray, we did that in a similar fashion. Um, he didn't participate in the, uh, the challenge, but, um, I ended up spending uh, $22 at the flea market. Um, I ended up picking up 15 books. So, um, there was a bunch of vendors there. Um, Ray said that, uh, there wasn't as many vendors as there were the prior week, but, um, when I went there, there was more than what I guess what I'm usually seeing when i go there so um there was one vendor that had like i think six or so long boxes and you know a bunch of other comic books in like smaller boxes and uh, he had a good deal where um they were two bucks a piece and if you spend i think it was i want to say over 20 they were a dollar a piece something like that or uh they went down less after 10 a.m., but uh, we were there early. We were there like at 6, 6.30 in the morning. And uh, by the time he had set up, it was like a little after 7. Um, so primarily, I think it was 13 out of the 15 books I got at, at his booth. So um, I'll show you the books that I got. And then I'll show you the, um, uh, I think the last two books that I got at the other booth. So I'll just sort these out real quick. And um, I'll tell you if there's anything, you know, significant about them or whatnot and uh, go from there. So, uh, all right. So, I'll start off with this book right here. This is Avengers number three. Um, nothing really significant about this book. It's just a really cool Kang the Conqueror cover. So, uh, these ended up, I guess, totaling out to being just around $1.50 a piece when you, when you tally them all together. So I got that. I got um, issue number six from, um, I think that's the same the same run, if I'm not mistaken, right? This is, uh, yep, Bendis Rometer. Yep. Um, I believe there's like a full team appearance of somebody in here. I forget. But this book was hot a while back. Um for whatever reason there was some speculation behind it but i found that um i found this really cool run there the only one that is not part of the series i think is issue one so i'll show you that one first but um this is hercules prince of power issue number one i, I think this is not part of the same run but i could be wrong I had issue number one there it's a really cool uh, cosmic cover they had um, issue two, issue three, and my favorite of the run is this really cool Galactus cover. Is issue four, and this was actually a really good read. Um, if you hadn't read the series, uh, issue four is my favorite. When uh, Hercules decides he can. Uh, Besides, he, he thinks he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Galactus. Well, he, he was uh, sadly mistaken. <laughs> um, next book was, uh, here we go. New Teen Titans, annual issue number one. Really nice uh, George Perez cover. We got uh, New Teen Titans, issue number 39. Is that... Nice homage to uh, Amazing Spider-Man 50. This was a fun spec book uh, maybe a year or two ago. 
and uh, Dakota North Investigations, issue number one. It's a nice cover. Don't know too much about the character, but it almost looks like a, like a recent version of uh, Black Widow. Here's, um, this was a good spec book last year. It's the Secret Avengers, issue number 17. This is like an early appearance of uh, Mr. Knight. Uh, the problem with this book is it has um, what looks like there was a little bit of water there on the barcode and it just kind of like faded the barcode. But uh, other than that, it was a pretty nice copy. Um, this is also a cool book here. This is um, Avengers Academy, issue number 21. This book's picking up a little bit in, in value as well. I believe this is the first appearance of Aya, which is like the next... Um, uh, White Tiger. And uh, what else we got here? Oh, this is a fun book. All right. So I've always wanted the, one of these books. I always wanted to find one in the wild. And this is uh, Super Pro issue number one. Fun little NFL Spidey crossover. All right. We're getting down. Got a few more books here. All right, let's see. Yep, three more books. Next book is Spider Girl, issue number 54. Nothing key here. It's just a really cool Christmas cover. And I like collecting holiday covers. Um, let's see. Detective Comics, issue number 850. And I believe this is like an unofficial... First appearance of the um, Gotham City Sirens. And then the last book, which was actually a big surprise that I found this book again. Um, I found this book here last year at the flea market. This one's not as clean as the first one I got a year ago, but uh, still a really great find that I got for $1.50. And this is Aliens number one. And uh, this is the first print. So uh, that's it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, also recommend you guys out there, go out there and see if you can spend $20. Make a video. I'm tagging you guys on the community. I want to see what you guys can find for $20. Um, and then let me know in the comments down below what you think of these books. Did I do well? Did I, beat, uh, did I do better than Steve? <laughs> if you haven't seen his video. I'll, uh, I'll tag it down below. Um, until next time, Mark's Work the Comics. Out.